welcome to the beginning of my apartment hunting. Hea sagashi. Hea sagashi. It means like room finding. Because I know like rokehan. Is this like apahang? No. Yeah, yeah, apahang. That's very, that's very cool style speaking. This is apahang. This is apahang part one. <laughs> This place is huge. Oh, I really like this one. Here in a view, Tree. 38.88. This place is pet friendly. Hi, guys. Oh, Look at this different. huge sink. Oh, my god. This gosh. is great. This is a great size. Yeah, quite ample space in the closet. So, you guys have the right over so today, this is not a sponsored video, guys. I bet you're wondering who this is, but this is actually Jason. Jason from Apps. Apps.jp to show me all the wonderful bukken. I have never actually gone apartment hunting, like formal apartment hunting in Japan before. We're checking out apartments and uh, yeah. Yeah, seeing what's up. You guys get to come along and we're going to check out this apartment. So right. let's start the tour. Nice. This yeah. is the get gun, yes. Uh, this is a model room. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So this is like to help us imagine yeah, what our really, home would look it's like. Beyond imagine, they just literally put it in here. There's a shoe closet. Definitely ample for uh, your many shoes. That's so much space. Yeah. Ah, I can even actually touch the back. That's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so here's your uh, umbrella space over here. Oh, uh, great. You put your umbrellas and misc things. I love it. Oh, I didn't even have one of these at home. <laughs> but yeah, this is a great kitchen space. Triple gas burners. Um, three. Yeah, three gas burners, you know, so you have like your pasta and your sauce and then you have like your mushrooms. I love it. Your There's mushrooms. Juice. Yeah, yeah, just ample storage here. They they were, they were very kind enough to put the type of things this that you might so have. Cute. He's in hers, yeah. Ample storage under as well. I mean, this is the separate uh, bathroom. So this is totally separate in that it totally has its own room. The Japanese style. Yeah, the nice. Japanese style, just secluded so you can have your privacy there. Soundproof, so you can just you could you could just, <laughs> just you could just go room, go at it uh, all over here, and just extra storage. This could also be used as a spice rack. Oh my god! With a lot of spices, <gasps> uh, you can also uh, adjust the levels on this, so you can have your bookshelf here. The bathroom. <laughs> it comes. Tell me, it comes with this washer. Definitely not. <laughs> yes. This would be the type of washer that would be. Typical. Look at this huge sink. sink. This just, is great. Yeah, yeah. You can you can just you can wash things in it actually. Yeah. This is like bigger than my kitchen sink right now. I could like wash our dog in here, but it's not. <gasps> oh, this place is not pet friendly. Okay, so, unfortunately. So uh, sorry, Lily. Yeah, uh, this over here is. I mean, this is a Japanese feature that's quite uh, handy, which is it's a special type of dryer just for the shower room. And uh, it has a heating, cooling, and drying, and fan mode, so it has different modes. So uh, one common thing is over here, if you look under the shower, uh, the exhaust at the top, like right here, over oh, there, yeah. area, and there's a pole, so you wash oh, clothes over great. here in the washing machine. And you could put uh, just on heater mode or dryer mode. Uh, and also the like heater as well, so if it's winter time, you put the heater on and then you heat the room before. See the bath features over here as well. The bells and whistles with regards to um, <laughs> automatically filling your bath, setting a timer to fill your bath. Turn this on, you can actually. Yeah, you can have a little space on. Um, so, shall we check out the living room? Yes. Ba -ba! Da -da 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 -da. So, again, this is the this is model room. This is actually a one bedroom. Okay. <laughs> they put the coffee table here, but check this out. <gasps> Wait a second. We were, we, were, we were in a one bedroom, turns out. There's a whole other room in here. Well, that's a queen size bed right there. This is perfect. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the but the space options would be quite nice if it did not have the bed in the living room. Yeah, an air conditioner in the living room as well as the bedroom. But there's like this huge balcony here, so the light would come in yeah. here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so this is a south-facing balcony. And in Japan, uh, the south-facing thing is quite uh, highly valued. The Japanese word is minamimuki? Minamimuki, yeah. So you'd want minamimuki because... Because it, it generally catches the light from all times of the day. So from ah. sunrise to sunset, it'll generally be pointing in that direction. There's another building right there. Yeah. But again, since it's south facing, you still should be able to get a good amount of sunlight, indirect sunlight Definitely. throughout the day. Alright, let's uh, go check out the next spot. This is beautiful. This, can I have this as my living room? Can we just get the breaker? There we go. So this is a uh, 50 amp breaker. In Tokyo, apartments tend to be between 30 and 50. 50 is on quite the higher end. 
This would be good to look for because I don't know what ours is, but ours trips all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that number right there. You know, sometimes it's when it's 40, yeah, the, the apartment will actually only have 30. It won't go to the map, so you can call an electric company and sort that out. Guys, look at this. This place is huge. Oh, I really like this one. Right in the bedroom. So this is, yeah, corner bedroom right here. You have oh light God. from all sides. Yeah, this is uh, a very, very nice oh bedroom. I mean, this is the kind of thing. So what is the size of this apartment? This one is 42. 42.14 square meters. This is a good layout for 42. Indeed, indeed. It's a really uh, smart use of space. Boomer said he wanted a window in his bathroom. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, here we are. Ah, oh my god. Look at this kitchen. Yeah, so this is an uh, island style kitchen with like the main kitchen space uh, jutting outwards from the wall. And these kind of spaces are really good for entertaining. This over here is what they call it. It's like a sink cover to extend your sink. Oh, I love this. Yeah, so, so it's you like... have this here and you have your big prep space here. Sha, 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 quang, and then your friends are over there and you're like, ha! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so right it's really here. good to yeah, have like an open space and just have that communication with your... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a corner room, so you have sunlight from two corners right here. Oh my god, there's so many windows. <laughs> yeah, so the light here is, is excellent. And they have a lot of uh, extra storage here as well for just mess and also kitchen stuff. Because this is kind of like a nook here, I could set up like a desk here, a little work. So this does open up, so it gives you, does give you, you have to consider a little bit Opening the door. Opening the door. Yeah. So I think, yeah, a good workspace would be there, or you could put like a two-seater couch here. Yeah. Like a two-seater couch, and then you have the, and then you have television set over here, or vice versa. This space is uh, so spacious that yeah, you definitely have like an entertainment setup or a mini desk setup over there as well. Yeah, this is great, because like, you think about it, you walk in, you kind of see where you could land if you were a guest, but then if you lived here, you have your own private space. Yeah. Nice. I, li I like the dark features. I, know, I don't normally like dark, but I like this. No, this is like stone. It's like a acrylic stone type. It's quite nice with the recessed lighting. By the way, this is pet friendly. Oh my this god! Is... Lily! Okay. So, bring it to me. I really like this one so far. Oh, okay. How much was the last one and how much is this one? How much was the last one? Alright, yes, the first one we saw, 40.26 square meters is 164. 164,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and this one here is uh, forty-two point one four square meters. Okay, it's one ninety-four. That's not bad. And one ninety-four, uh, five minutes from the station. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good bargain. Man, I have to show them right. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, third apartment. Let's check it out. Check it out. I'm, I'm taking the reins on this one, guys. Jason's gonna let me check it out for myself. Ooh, I just peeked the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so this is basically like a pretty similar layout. Yeah, from the previous one, it's, uh, it's quite similar, actually. This is has great. the uh, kitchen, um, the island kitchen, and living room space. Yeah, so this is, a, again, a very good entertainment layout. I would say that the previous one we went to had more sunlight coming through. Mm -hmm. So uh, this might be something to consider, but this place does have a nice counter over here, and it's a little bit larger. Yeah. The actual living space is a little bit larger here. If you notice, the lights are actually all on, but if you notice right here, and right there, there are no lights installed. So this is a very uh, common thing in Japan, in okay. Tokyo, where these are all um, standard sizes that you can just go to a big camera or any electronics store, and you can get the, the lights to put on the wall. Okay. So this place does not come with a lights in the living room or the bedroom. We don't have standing lights at all in our current mm -hmm. apartment, so we would need to buy lights for something like this. They have square shapes now, they have small ones, they have even extensions that can come out. Like chandelier type or something? Yeah, like an old school incandescent ball type. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different options. You can even put like a rail light type thing. Oh, that'd be cool, like yeah. A type. So like a modern. A lot of options, yeah. It doesn't need to be that round Japanese style. This kitchen again, yeah, this is, this is just a great sink, a great kitchen prep space. Oh, yeah. The wood here? The wood here, yeah. Yeah, that's one thing about this place with regards to aesthetics mm. and the way it feels. It does feel quite more homely. The layout here is quite similar to the previous one and, and the general flow, even all the bathroom and, and toilet stuff is in the same area. Yeah. But due to the type of wood used and the type of lighting and stuff, this one does feel more homely. Yeah, and even the door, like this door looks <laughs> very like like a house door and not like an apartment. Yeah, yeah but like this like the trim on the wood and yeah, because sometimes these apartments can feel kind of like cookie cutter or like kind of like sterile, but this has more of like that nice homey feel. And then I noticed over here, there's like these little accents <laughs> on the wall here. This reminds me of our apartment in New York, actually. This like almost like a mosaic type of like 
pattern. <laughs> this is paisley, what are you? And the, ooh, guest stoves. Okay, bathroom next, should I go? <gasps> this is huge. Okay, so this one's like separate too. So yeah. here's my question, we mm -hmm. already have a washer. Do most people already have washers when they do? Definitely not. Like if they're coming from overseas, usually mm. people, I mean, generally people don't come with their washing machines, but yeah. if you already have a place here, yeah, people often do. Okay. And so these Japanese types, these are quite standard. Mm. Like they're these standard base size, like 60 uh, centimeters by 60. These are the standard, one of the standard sizes. Most washing machines will fit in this in this size. Okay, I'll have to check to make sure that ours would fit because mm -hmm. we have one. So you can totally save money if it fits and then you can just bring it on over. And then here's the, the bathroom in here. Is this pink? So this whole apartment layout's great, the size is great, value to everything, but you're gonna have to love this pink bathroom. <laughs> the last one was brown with a similar layout and then this one's pink. Pink or brown? Pink is very like American. I feel like there's a lot of like pink so yeah. pink bathrooms. I feel like in, in Tokyo they tend to keep it pretty like neutral, just in color wise, not even gender neutral, just neutral. Yeah. Yeah. But this is quite pink and uh <laughs> anything's an upgrade from where we are now, honestly. Well in that case, we have this lovely pink bathroom over here. <laughs> yeah. And this is not even the shoe closet area, this is just closet storage. Oh yeah, we, we didn't stuff. even look at like the Gencon or anything. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, we went backwards here, but like, yeah, so this is like toilet paper towels, these kind of things, <gasps> uh, laundry detergent. And what do I see this here? This is 60, yeah, so this is actually quite high. Uh, 60 amps, the peak amperage that you would use. So just in case you need to run like two toaster ovens and dry your hair and curling and you know, watching television and vacuum cleaning. And your rice all cooker. This, all this, and the rice cooker all at the same time and then it's like, yeah, okay. How many outlets are in here? One, two, three. Oh, and here's like a, here's like another Wi-Fi setup over here type. Yeah, cable. Okay. That's good to know, okay. These are also your intercom system. So this is for reading people in. Um, Hello, where are you at? Hello. And they'll show up here and you <laughs> let them in. And this is an emergency thing. Oh, really? Yeah. What? So like if there's an emergency, this usually calls like uh, the building management. Whatever you do, don't really push it unless you want to talk with management or there's some emergency. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've never had anything like this before, so I'm kind of a fan. Be like, guys, <laughs> help. <laughs> so uh, totally separate toilet. Oh yeah. Again, quite standard. Nice. Standard in Japan. Yeah, huh? standard. I mean, uh, separate uh, with the wash ledge and everything. This room here, it's a little bit dark here, so I'm not sure if you can see. Despite there being a building on right at the mm. right over there, but uh, with regards to indirect light, though, uh, lighting should be pretty good in here in general, actually, just because of the. There's two windows, yeah. yeah. Because there's two windows, yeah. I think this would actually be pretty good because my current bedroom, we have a skylight, uh, and we can't sleep because it's like bah, every morning. No, this room uh, definitely, uh, so you can see there's one light picture at the top there. And as we were with the first space, this can definitely fit a queen size bed, no problem if you guys are going that far. So yeah, so 140. Yeah, boom. So basically, you go out to right here, and this is definitely longer than 200. Oh, nice. Okay, so go out to right here, yeah. This, I feel like yeah. this is our, our New York bedroom was this size. Yeah, so there's a lot of clearance here because you have enough room for a desk here even if you wanted to put a whole desk along the, along the back wall. It's perfect. Yeah, now that's right there, so. Yeah, outlet, internet stuff, and the cable stuff. Hey! This place is really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so it's basically the same layout, the same madori as the last place. Madori. Ma madori. This is the keyword. Madori. Yeah, same already as the previous mm. uh, apartment that we just went to go see. It's about five square meters more. Okay. Uh, and definitely the living room has more space, that's yeah. for sure. Um, price. Right, yeah. The price. So, so the previous one we went to go see is a 194,000 and 42.14 square meters. One we are at now, 45.6, uh, 175. Oh, so it's cheaper? It is cheaper, yeah. 175,000 total rent. That's a lot more bang for buck. It's definitely, it's definitely a good value. The other place was super glitzy and like from the future. Because, <laughs> you know, just a couple years ago, it's, it's very, very like looks kind of thing and this is more homely kind of thing. Yeah, so but it has the gas burners. The gas burner is totally Open cool. layout. Open layout, a huge sink, a separate bathroom, just ample shower room space. Yeah. The <laughs> was like, you have to have like a big bathroom. He hits his head like all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 
In the back? In our bathroom at home. Uh, as, as one does. If I were to pick today, mm -hmm. yeah. what would the timeline be? The timeline would be, um, okay, so basically we would, we would put in the application ASAP. Okay. We have our guys waiting on the car right now. We would get your residence card, we would take a photo and lock in your application. And then after that, there's about a, a 8 to 10 days, a screening okay. period of time. And then after that, that's when you know that you'll get the apartment. Okay. However, uh, everything that we show our clients, we pre-screen them. Okay. We try to figure out as much as possible okay. as we can about the clients. And so there's a pretty good chance of passive screening. What do you think is like the biggest hiccup? Like the one thing most people forget to prepare? Usually, like some, there are some apartments that require a, a prior, like an individual guarantor. Okay. And that's quite hard because they're responsible for paying. Yeah, yeah. if you leave. If you leave or they're paying rent if you don't pay. So a lot of modern apartments now, they use guarantor companies in, in replace of the guarantor. But the hardest thing for most, the just average person, is getting in a Japanese emergency contact. Because if they're, if they're not Japanese, they need to be quite fluent in Japanese. Yeah. But that's one of the things that's hard. Like, especially if you're just, you've been here for a while, so you should be fine. Yeah. But if you're just coming over from overseas, yeah. you come to Japan, it's like, how do I, how do I get all this information addressed and stuff from a Japanese person? Mm -hmm. uh, usually coworkers, stuff like this. Okay. Yeah. But that's so, usually the, the hardest thing. From like the moment I email you yeah. until move in day, yeah. what, what would you say is the total timeline? We've done a, you know, a lot of long support. Like the fastest, fastest would be like three weeks. Three or weeks? Yeah, where someone's like really serious okay. and where they know what they want and they're like, boom, we can do this. Okay. But it usually takes about a month, four to six weeks. I would say the total whole thing okay. if we're really going into it and feeling stuff out. So by the time I edit this, I could be moved in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I know Boomer is waiting for the next batch. We're going to do another video with him, actually, so you're not done. So I just wanted to basically give everyone an idea of how to shop for apartments before I go like full on mm -hmm. shopping uh, with Boomer. So this was Jason, obviously. Uh, yes. Hi, Jason with Apps.jp. Clearly speaks English. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> We really focus a lot on just uh, lifestyle enhancing apartments and figuring out you know, the priorities from the client's point of view, just really from a, a human perspective. You guys have like a lot of articles on social media and I read that like the biggest hiccup that a lot of people have is that they go to a Japanese company expecting foreign yeah. support. Like yeah. you guys are the opposite. Exactly, exactly. I mean, because we've uh, had a lot of experience living overseas yeah. in different countries, and so we know what different cultures are like. We have a lot of friends from different cultures. All of our clients are from different places. Yeah. And so we have an understanding of just the general things yeah. people might want from other countries. Yeah. Apps JP, they specialize in Gaikuji Mupi Tintai. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Like, there's no foreigner problem, like this is Oh, by the way, we specialize in uh, expat-friendly expat uh, rental service. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, um, if you want to talk to Jason or any of the guys over the team. So apps.jp backslash inquiry, or you could uh, email us at info at apps.jp. Facebook, yeah, Twitter, so. and if you're not ready to move in a month or three weeks, just start looking on Twitter to see an idea of what you like. Okay, yeah. okay guys, so that's it for this video. We're going to start the next one, pick up Boomer, and look at some more apartments. If you have any questions, check out below for all the links and we will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>